Hey guys, I'm Kirko. Welcome to a new uh, Let's Try series. Today we're going to be checking out Seeds of Resilience. This game was on Steam Early Access for, I think, roughly a year and now got the full release roughly a week ago, I believe, or even less, a couple days ago, I think. So, uh, what is this game about? You are stranded on an island and uh, basically you're Robinson Crusoe and you need to survive. Uh, you have, I think, up to three people when you start. Uh, and you need to feed them, you need to, uh, well, get them tools, you need to get them shelter, all the good stuff. And then you can build a village, basically, on it. And uh, if you want to, you can uh, attempt to build a ship and escape. So in that way, it's kind of like real world. You, you know, you try to survive, but it's more basic. Now, this game, I, um, I wanted to actually play it before I went on my trip, but uh, didn't have the time, unfortunately. It's really fun. <laughs> I played for like an hour today, just uh, going through some of the missions, just to learn the basics. And uh, if you if you go through more of these, you unlock more characters as well. I unlocked like three people, uh, but I've not gone through more of that. And it's actually really, really exciting and fun. So we're gonna be playing a survival thing, just a normal. Normal should be fine, and we currently have six people to choose from to compose our team. And um, yeah, we're gonna do that. We can't rename them. Everybody has their own skills and all that stuff, so that's kind of cool. Uh, so we have Davram over here, who is good at smitting. Uh, also natural born fisher, dressed warmly, and uh, is a bit hurt. We have Amelia over here, who is a survivor. A bit of a skill in survival. Natural born farmer, asocial, collector, and lucky. It's kind of cool. Uh, we have Avina. He's dressed warmly, autodidact, skill level up twice faster. This, this is kind of cool. Insomniac. And uh, we have Thalia, who is good at fishing. Uh, she's a builder, natural born woodworker, agile insomniac. I think she's kind of cool. Let's, uh, let's grab Thalia. She can be our fisherman and she can build stuff for us. So that could be kind of cool. Uh, gotta remember these skills while you play, right? No, try not to forget about them. That would be great. Uh, we have Swadrog over here. Who is uh, adept at farming, survivalist, lucky, hurt, and social. And then we have uh, Naraya, who is good at stone cutting. She's a bit noisy, so other people uh, get less hours of sleep with her. She's a craftsman, natural born blacksmith, and insomniac. So, who else do we take? Now, people that are actually dressed warmly are pretty good because early on, when you don't have shelter, your people. Uh, start taking uh, health point damage over the night uh, So you know you need to feed them and you need to give them shelter. So if you're dressed warmly you uh, Have the malice you would get from that. So you know uh, Having uh, people like this. I think I'm gonna take Avina because all the skill level up faster. It seems like a kind of cool idea and uh, Who else do we take do we take Amelia? She's a uh, Good at survival stuff. She's lucky. Recycle stuff. Okay, let's let's take a look. So we have Thelia, who should fish and build for us, and chop trees if she can. We have uh, Amelia, who's good at survival stuff. Natural born farmer as well. She can collect stuff. She's lucky. Uh, so she should open crates. And we have Avina, who will just level up crazy. All right, let's start. Let's begin. Uh, I wanted to say that uh, if you're looking to buy in this game, I'm gonna have a affiliate link down below. If you click that, uh, you will also support me if you buy the game. It's uh, I think $13.99 right now, in euros at least, so we'll see. Okay, this is our island. This is where we are. Uh, looks like we have a bunch of rocks in the middle. There's kind of a river and all kinds of crazy supplies. We have some crabs. You can see everything you do, it takes... Look, this is, this takes one hour, you don't need a tool. Uh, if we went for this broom thing, it's gonna take two hours to scavenge this. Uh, let's say a tree, it's gonna take five hours and we need an axe. Um, so all kinds of stuff that you do, you need stuff for. So right now Thalia has four hours remaining for the work day. And uh, she has slept that door, so she starts with minus 20 HP and she's insomniac, so she starts with two less hours. Otherwise, she's a fisherman. I think she builds for us as well, right? We have Avina. Uh, she's dressed warmly. Uh, so it only went by minus 10. Her health is now at 90. 
Uh, also Insomniac, amazing. And uh, yeah, Amelia also lost some stuff. So food and shelter. Over here on the right you see food units. So we need at least three from, to prevent from someone to starve. Right? And if you get all six, then we, they're gonna be well fed and they will regain 10 HP. So if you get all six, then uh, this person will not lose any points during the night. And these guys will only lose 10. Uh, also, this over here is a shelter. So what we're gonna try to do is build a shelter for three people, which is this thing. It's a large shelter, it takes nine hours to build, and we need uh, six branches of any kind, and we need uh, some broom branches. Now I think if we destroy our raft, yeah, which took I think an hour, uh, gives us some oak branches. So if you could get like three more oak branches, this would be great. But I don't think we'll be able to build it today. These are all chestnuts. These are the brooms, that's what we need over here, the broom branches. You know? Um, there's some crates. We might get something useful out of it. We might also not. <coughs> Who knows? I think first I'm gonna try picking up some food stuff, like uh, these crabs over here. You see, at least we have uh, enough food. Oh, that frog wasn't food. Never mind. Crab was a food, frog wasn't. There's some shells over here. Now we can do fishing as well. Let's uh, grab that crab and let's uh, let's see if we can grab another crab. Not well, the frog this time around. It's a shell. There you go. So we have three food. Nobody's gonna start starving. You can see the resources are just lying on the ground right now. Now, if we could uh, get some oak branches, this would work out well. These are fir trees. There's a young oak. This gives us two branches. It's going to take one hour. So it's going to be it for Arena. Arena can't do anything anymore. Uh, let's see if uh, we can get one more oak. That's a dead oak. I mean, we, we don't have an axe right now to uh, be able to chop big oak trees. So, uh, I'm gonna wait on that one a bit. Just wanna see, there we go. Alright, so we have the branches. Now we need, uh, that. And we need that. There you go. We can now start building this. And we need to plop it down somewhere it's gonna be green. You can also rotate this. We could do... Hmm. Something like... Ah. Uh, there you go. All right, so she can build this for one hour, but luckily she needs less hours to build stuff, right? I think. So we won't have a shelter, but we're gonna have enough food for people not to starve. These guys are gonna take some health points damage, but what can you do? Let's have her build this thing. Alright, so yeah, you see, she doubled that hour, so now he can actually build this and finish it up. So we can actually have a shelter on the first day. Look, we got an achievement for that. Amazing. So now, since there's three of them, we can assign them to sleep in here. So everybody's got a shelter now. Everybody's got a shelter. We have enough food so nobody starves. And that's pretty good. Alright, um, nobody has an hour anymore. So what we do now is we... I'm gonna turn off this thing for now. We're gonna end the day. There's also seasons and such, uh, which I've not gone into yet, so I don't really know exactly how it works. So, uh, you can see year one, day one. Nobody lost any health points, because uh, there was no issues. So all they all lost minus two hours, because these two guys are insomniacs, which is a bit obnoxious. <laughs> and this guy uh, doesn't like to live with others, or this lady, Amelia, I'm sorry. That's okay, uh, but now we have, everybody has six hours to this day, and, oh, I didn't want to click that. Well, we got some uh, flax, never mind. <laughs> That's okay. So now what we have to uh, do is get enough food not to starve, and I think I'm going to try getting uh, enough food to start healing these guys, because if you have extra food, it should heal us, right? So I think, first thing we're going to do... I don't know if that's like really the first thing you should do, but hey, 
So what we're going to try to do is build a spear, since we do have uh, Thalia, who's a fisherman. So for that we need bamboo and we need string. String we got from uh, destroying our raft. Now this is out here, so it's going to start spoiling probably. Yeah, which is not the greatest. Now, I think she's also a natural woodcutter. But I think since Avina doesn't have a thing yet, we're going to try getting her... Uh, to get us some bamboo. Actually, this might be just gathering stuff since uh, we do want just a small bamboo, not a giant one. We want just a small one. There's any such. Now, what you can do is hold X and look behind things, which is kind of nice. But I don't see any small bamboos, which is obnoxious. I mean, I mean, I think I need an X to go for the big bamboo. So uh, you see, that's a bit of a problem. Now we can build an axe. Uh, in fact, we can actually do it right now. Huh. Okay, we need a pebble. Yeah, you need survival skill uh, to build the axe. So let's... I uh, guess we can grab pebbles with you. And then you can craft us an axe, which is good. Then we can equip an axe on, let's say, her. And she can go chop this thing down. It's going to take two hours, and we're going to get some bamboo, which is good. So I think from these shoots, uh, the new bamboo tree should grow. Shoot, I think. Now we have enough of this. I mean, since you are the survivalist, 60%, let's uh, grab the spear. And now that's at 80. That's pretty good. And she's our fisherman, so we're going to have her equip that pronged spear. And what she can do is now go fish like this. You see? It also, you know, does the uh, thing. It, it slowly levels her up, and uh, you know, you can't, you can't fish too much. Now we have enough. We have three. Nobody's gonna start starving. Uh, it takes her one hour to fish, so I think uh, we can freely go and just fish up with her, and that's gonna be six. Now we're gonna have enough uh, to feed everybody and start healing them up, which is kind of great. See so how three hours on her and zero hours on her. So, three hours on Ovina. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, I think I'm gonna see if I can build a uh, that thing. So, we need some more pebbles and a branch to build a campfire. And then with campfire, you can cook frogs and such. There's a magnetite vein. That's amazing. So, we have some pebbles, but we need another pebble, which we can get her here. And then we need a branch. We can take the third one, I guess. And then we can build, uh, let's say, this thing over here. Perfect. Look at that. We didn't start a fire. Uh, we can construct it. She has one hour, so do it. All right, so that's we're done for the day now, I think. Uh, but what we can do over here now under food, we can uh, do roasted chestnuts. If you had chestnuts, you can uh, roast a green frog. We have a frog. We don't have any these things so we could do that and also you can cook fish it you know fish will be able to feed more people so that's good that's good for tomorrow let's end the day let's see how it goes so you can see they all gained uh, 10 HP from being well fed which is great there's this high health nice Oh, so you're... I think she's max health now. Yeah, she's max health. Oh, look, she has eight hours now. Probably because she was well fed. And, uh, yeah, these guys are gonna be going there. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is with her fish a bit more. Fish, like, three fish. So we have three. And then uh, maybe with her, since look, she's apprentice at woodcutting now. I think with her, I'm gonna see if I can. Actually, no, with survivalist, we should probably try cooking. I'm actually not sure. So, there's the fish, right? Takes two hours to cook. I require skill farming. Okay. Um, yeah, we have everything we need. Right, so let's see what this raw fish does for us. 
All right, so he doubles. Perfect. So you see, this is much better. We now doubled our fish intake, which is actually great. So we don't need to fish as much. We just spent two hours instead of three hours for fishing, which is good. And that made you apprentice in farming. Good. We should try building something with you, uh, like a fishing hook. A shell for that, apparently. Mm. Sure, let's pick up a shell. And we're gonna craft a fishing hook. Let's see how much that gives you. 10%. I think with uh, a fishing hook, you can then build this thing. A fixed fishing rod, which allows for more efficient fishing. Which is kind of cool. So we have a fishing hook. We need some more string. And we do have the bamboo. So the string can be, I believe, crafted from flax. So there you go. There's string. We need fiber. So craft that. Now I have three N. It's an expert in survival skill now, Amelia. That was pretty fast. Gotta admit, that was pretty fast. <laughs> so now we should be able to build this. Uh, oh, look at that. This is kind of cool. So this is gonna basically fish from all the stuff around here. Kind of like the idea of that. Mm. I'm just looking how to best do this. I kind of like the idea of this. So let's put this here. And since she's the builder, she only needs one hour to do this. Let's have her craft that. So you now have the, the fishing thing. What is happening if I click on it? Oh, so you can uh, spend one hour to fish over here. Cool. Cool. That's fine. Now you can see that this... Uh, Things have strength and such, right? Strength and insulation. So I'm guessing when it's get colder, we're gonna need better houses. Uh, also, I think, I think uh, there's you know there's natural disasters. So the the stronger the house, the harder it's gonna be to break it. And now since we have a right level two survivalist, we can build uh, stronger houses. It's kind of cool. Can't build a ship yet. How about our warehouse? This place can stock many materials or food, preventing weather to damage them, which is kind of cool. Oh, what do we have here? Metal workshop? Hmm. And wood workshop. This is kind of cool. I've, I've not gone this far before. <laughs> now, what we can also do is plant some of our stuff. Now, I think she is lucky. Right? I think she's lucky. She's the lucky girl. I'm, I'm not sure. So what we want to do is open stuff with her. And right click for more information. We can recycle these. No tool required. You get a crate for containers. And then you get some extra stuff. What did you get over here? We got some shells. Really? Are you sure? Hmm. I don't know. It's a crate. That's shells. No, there's, there's something else that fell on the floor there. That's fine. Uh, we have some more crates around. I know. Let's go uh, find them. There's one. What was that? That's some kind of seeds, I think. I think that's some kind of seeds. Let's actually check. Yeah. We got tomato seeds. Ooh. Ooh. So we can actually start planting. I've never done this. Uh, this one is too tired because it's two hours. Okay, but I don't think... Uh, oh, yeah. They are they're good enough, I guess. You know what? We can start planting, planting some tomato seeds. Sure. What's with that? Alright. You know, our first tomato patch. It's pretty good. Okay, too tired to complete the task. You want to plant some tomato seeds? Okay, that's a patch of six tomato seed to tomato things now. Good. All right. Uh, they both have one hour left. We could be planting the fibers as well. I think I'm gonna try uh, building some workshops like this one. So you need straw for this. You need 
trunks, so basically cutting your trees, you need some bamboo and you need some branches. So since we are tired, we can start with some branches, like this chestnut tree. And then with her, maybe this chestnut tree. Alright, that should do for today. Let's continue. It does... Um, Alright, we are all high health now, which is great. That's that's great. Did someone say that we need to build a quarry? Where's this farming? Quarry. A digging setup that will allow to bring back rocks in large quantities. Be careful though to stop before everything collapses. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Sounds like a very good idea. Hmm. So, quarry. They said. Interesting. Uh, before we go onwards, let's make sure we have food. So we have one of these green frogs. Let's see how much we get out of that. That's just one food. Alright. Uh, let's get some fish then. Let's get her. She's the fisherman. Let's get her to fish here. Okay, that was like two fish right there. This is good. Um, let's go cook those two fish maybe. I need three fish to actually cook. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave it at three out of six. They don't need to be well fed, right? Uh, because they are at full. Actually, if they're well fed, they get plus two hours. Hmm. You know what? Let's get her to fish a bit more. And uh, let's actually go ahead. Can I just click on this? Oh yeah, I can click on this. And let's uh, cook these fish. So now we have 8 out of 6. Uh, the question is, is it going to go bad overnight? Or is it going to stay fine? That's a very good question. A very good question. Okay, so, oh, look, she is uh, very solid at farming. Uh, I need to get her to start planting some more stuff. Get even better at stuff. Uh, where was my planting? It was here, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, we have some of these seeds. Like She could level up quite nicely. Look at that! She's adept at farming now. That's actually good to know. Let's plant these over here. I mean, we should probably get some of these branches out, but there you go. Look, she planted them all. Yeah, she's getting there on farming. That's good. We're gonna have plenty of potatoes back here, and you know, you can... Uh, get this I guess since it's there and you can get the young oak as well so there's these veins just kinda cool not sure what to do with them but I guess we're gonna find out soon anyway for now this is the start to see the resilience I really enjoy this game I think it's really fun learning new stuff it's also kinda cool so for now thank you everybody for watching Click that notification bell below if you want to see more from me. Uh, check out the affiliate link if you're interested in buying it and uh, supporting me. And I'll see you guys next time. Kakarot.